Just imagine how much the museums would have cost here. They don't need the documents, they don't need the money. If you're traveling on a budget, that would be my biggest tip for you. Hey guys, welcome to Dramatical Expatic and welcome to this extraordinary city. This is the city that is considered one of the safest cities in the world, one of the cleanest cities in the world, one of the best cities in the world to live in, and one of the most expensive cities in the world as well. Welcome to Geneva. I'm so excited to finally expand the geography of our channel and to explore this city with you. So without further ado, follow me and let's see Geneva together. The Jet Doe, guys, is probably the most famous landmarks of Geneva, or at least one of the most famous landmarks of Geneva, and I feel like it's so appropriate to start the tour of the city here, admiring the fountain, because even if it's cloudy today, you can still see it clearly, you can still enjoy it. In fact, you can even see it even flying over Geneva, even from the plane, because the water is jetted to an altitude of 140 meters. Can you just imagine? Guys, look at the amount of the swans here. There are so many of them. I think it's probably the biggest amount of swans I've ever seen in one place. The water here is crystal clear and the view is so beautiful. I totally get why all the swans live here. One thing I don't understand, guys, is that why uh, all other swans all around the world are not here yet. They don't need the documents, they don't need the money, they don't have to spend all this money on the quality of life here. They could live here. All they need is to fly over here and, and stay here in this lake in Geneva enjoying the Swiss quality of life. first guys it is always of course coffee however if you've seen my video from Lyon and if you haven't seen it I will leave you a link up here uh, finding good and affordable coffee has been a recurring problem uh, on this trip for me and also you know finding good coffee in general anywhere except for Italy is a huge deal after having lived in Italy for seven years so I think I've settled for any coffee and coffee is incredibly expensive compared to Italy, both in France and in Switzerland, so Starbucks it is. Um, I also had to change the name, apparently I'm Nancy now, but that's okay, I won't take it as an insult to my pronunciation in French. Anyway, this cappuccino cost me 620 francs and it must be golden, I don't know, I'm drinking liquid gold basically. A very random fact for you guys, did you know that Geneva became a part of Switzerland only mere 200 years ago? That's why, in part, I've decided to include it into my French trip. Obviously, it's not French anymore, not purely French, but I still like it. And you still feel here the French influence, not only in the language. If you know me guys, you know that I love making budget videos telling you how to spend a day in a rather expensive city on a budget, usually having a budget of only 20 euros. Uh, I've been considering filming a video like this in Geneva, however, realistically speaking, yes, you can spend a day here with only 20 euros, however, you'll end up limiting yourself a lot. And I've decided to make 
not a usual budget video, but a bit of a different kind of a video. And today I will just give you some tips on how to save money in Geneva instead of having a fixed budget, which is okay. I hope it's okay with you. And if you want to learn more about my budget-friendly travel videos, I will leave you a link up here. I would say that so far Geneva has been really monumental and it's been a surprising fact for me. Maybe it shouldn't have been as surprising considering that it's home to so many important organizations, international organizations. However, uh, I didn't expect it to be so monumental since Geneva is not that big, you know, although it is one of the biggest cities in Switzerland, obviously, but I mean, Switzerland is not that big. And uh, another thing that I've noticed definitely that Geneva is very international and I pretty much like it. I think it really reflects the personality of this city. That was wonderful. And also expensive, yes, but also cute and really sophisticated. And, you know, all of these adjectives could easily describe Geneva, even after just a few hours you've spent here. I feel like you really feel the city and start understanding it very quickly, which is not something that happens to you in every city. But yeah, I like it. I really like it so far. One of the best tips I could give you guys in order to save money while you're in Geneva is that most museums here are actually absolutely free of charge. You can visit them for free. Sometimes you can leave a donation to the museum if you liked the exposition, but uh, in general it's not required. It's up to you, up to your budget and your means. And I think that's really great because you can still visit the city, you can still enjoy the city even if you don't have too much money to spend, because just imagine how much the museums would have cost here. Luckily, Switzerland can afford uh, to have free museums. We're now going to a museum that is called Maison Tavel, which is a perfect representation of a typical uh, Swiss house that once belonged to nobility. The house was built in the medieval times and uh, still today you can admire obviously the interiors that were created later. However, you can still have a look at how the Swiss nobility used to live and to get this feeling of what it used to be like to live here a few centuries ago. Guys, look how cool. I think there is a food festival or something because people are like, having picnics or street food there. And I think this is so lovely. Guys, considering my previous comment about me changing my name for Nancy today, my name is Valeria. If you're new here, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to see you here on my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell button to get the notifications of all the upcoming videos since now we know each other. We're now going to have some waffles, which I know is not very Swiss, but they're supposed to be very good. So we just want to check them out. And on our way there, we stumbled upon uh, Parc de Bastions, which is a lovely, amazing city park. I loved it so much. We just made a quick stop there. There was a food festival, the one I was talking about earlier, and it was just so peaceful and so calm and people were relaxing there and it was so nice. And guess what? We found the waffles.
the waffles guys were quite good and I wouldn't say they were cheap but at least less expensive uh, compared to other places in the historical center and the place of course was really cute I'm accidentally matching today with the color scheme of the place however once you leave behind the historical center you can actually find places with more or less affordable prices and the quality would be quite good so if you're traveling on a budget that would be my biggest tip for you not only in geneva but in other big cities as well um, go a bit further than the city center and you will find more or less affordable places This place, guys, offers more or less affordable food to go, which is a must for a budget traveler. So this rice bowl comes at more or less 10 francs, 12 francs which is quite a lot, but still it's cheaper than in other places. And you can just find a bunch of things here, like sweets, for example, this tiramisu cost 320, which is okay, I think. Probably the most expensive sandwiches in your life, but still it's cheaper than going to the restaurant. If you're traveling on a budget, if you want to save money, this could be your option. And that's it for today guys i hope that you enjoy this vlog from geneva and i hope that you feel inspired to come here despite its reputation of being one of the most expensive cities in the world if you're new here welcome once again please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button down below and as always don't forget to like comment and share this video with your friends so i can make more videos like this thank you guys for being here enjoy your day and i will see you in the next video bye